Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today we're going to install the Truxedo Titanium on this 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so guys, this is what you're gonna do. First, locate your passenger side rail. Passenger side rail is going to have uh, the Velcro face in the top. Uh, your rubber seal is actually gonna face uh, your bed cap. Um, and up at the very front, you're gonna have like an oval shaped hole at the tailgate end. Uh, you're gonna have this you know, little tab sticking out where it's cut out back here. Uh, now the brackets, uh, they look kind of symmetrical, but they're not. Um, if you look at the bracket, there's like a little T shape on the bracket. The way that works is that's gonna go up against the bed cap like so. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna loosely assemble uh, the brackets to the rail. So again, the T side is going to be facing towards the bed cap. So we're gonna line that hole up uh, to the bottom of the rail. We're gonna take a provided uh, Torx bolt, go through, uh, take a flat washer, and then nylock nut. All right, so this is what the first bracket looks like built. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the next two brackets the exact same way. All right, next using a T30 Torx bit, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these three factory bolts from their locations. All right, when I get the bolt out, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this washer off of the bolt. And I'm gonna save the bolt to reinstall it with the, uh, with the cover. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take the rail put it up against the bed cap. Uh, as we do that, we're gonna have a, sl a small flange that's right on the edge of this rail. Uh, and then you've got the gasket. The gasket goes up against there. The flange is gonna hang on top of the top of the bed cap. I'm gonna set that in place like so. Make sure all of our brackets are lined up. Next, we're going to take our factory bolts, go through the hole in the bottom of the bracket, and go right back into the threaded factory hole. We're going to loosely install all three bolts and then tighten them down with the T30. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tighten down our rail. Before we do that, we need to make sure it's pushed all the way up against the bed cap uh, and seated properly onto that bed cap. Uh, now we're gonna use our T27 and hold this uh, provided bolt uh, still and use a 7 16 on our nylock uh, to tighten that down. Do that on all three bolts. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set our cover on top of the rails. We're gonna roll that forward now, what we're gonna notice on the bottom side of this cover, uh, we've got a locator bolt that's right here. That locator bolt on each side is gonna drop down uh, into the oval hole onto the rail. That's how we know that it's lined up. Once we get those locator bolts lined up to the rail, then we're gonna reach underneath and slide the, the lock mechanism over to the rail. Now we're gonna test the operation of the cover. We're gonna roll it down to the tailgate. When, it, when you first get it, a lot of times it, you have to force it into the closed position. So now if you do notice it's a little bit wavy at the back, that's actually perfectly fine. It just has to wear in. Uh, now this cover can open and close. Uh, you can open and close the tailgate uh, with the cover closed. You don't have to open the cover uh, to close the tailgate. So one thing I want to show you guys is you still have access to your trunk lid. You can open that up. Uh, it does come up and it will contact the rail when it's almost in the all the way open position so you still have plenty of access to that trunk. Well that concludes the installation. If you have any questions call the experts. We're here to help you out.